if you're trying to download mods on Worldbox, you've clicked on the right video. This method is really for PC, but this could also be done on Mac. Now, that's not a very complicated way to do it. I personally haven't really tried it, so if you guys want to try it, you guys can. As I said, guys, this is not a very complicated method, so I feel like it can be done on Mac OS. Alright, so as you guys can see, currently I have the Modern Box mod loaded in Worldbox. And if you guys are trying to get similar mods just like that, Flag Box, Plant vs Zombie mods, or Power Box mod, keep watching this video until the end and I'll show you guys how to do it. Alright guys, currently I do have this little icon down here which indicates where all my mods are. So you guys probably don't have that. Alright guys, first thing you gotta do is go to game settings and you gotta scroll all the way at the bottom and make sure experimental mode is turned on. That is a key step. Alright guys, in my description I will leave the link for these two websites over here. Now one is to download the new mod loader which is how you load mods into Worldbox and then one is where you can find all the mods for Worldbox you can also find them in Discord but I just suggest you guys just getting them off the website first thing first you would do is download new mod loader now pretty much you just click on it and it will go into download then obviously it would say it is a unverified download but you can go on and download the unverified file just like that Alright guys, once you have it downloaded, you can pretty much just go to your download folder on your app just by just by doing that and you will see Neo Mod Loader file downloaded right over here. Then you will go to Steam and you go to your library and then you will just look for Worldbox and click on the settings. Then you will go to properties, installed files, browse and then it will just load up all the Worldbox data files and all that jitter jatter. You can just pretty much minimize out of this tab and this tab as well. Alright, once you guys do that, you will have to go to Worldbox Data. As you guys can see, there is a mod folder, but this is not what you're going to be using. You'll have to go to Worldbox Data, then you go to Streaming Assets, and then you see the mod folder, which that is where you gotta go. Then what you gotta do is pretty much you would drag your Neo Mod Loader, and you would just drag it down here as you guys can see any other file there is other than the test asset load you can get rid of all of those files and make sure the only file you have is neo mod loader which is going to be this one these two other files are just going to pop up on their own so that is how you pretty much download the, the neo mod loader that's how you're going to get that little icon in your world box now after that you can just go back to world box and then you can go to mods now as you guys can see currently I have three mods downloaded and here's how you download those mods. Alright before we get further into the video guys I do have a message for you guys. I do have a Twitch channel it is going to be linked in my bio and I do have a Discord server which is also going to be linked in my bio. If you guys are new to my channel and you guys do find this video helpful make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe I would really appreciate it. Let's try to get 100 likes on this video and comment down below any video ideas that you guys want me to do or if you guys have any other questions I can try to help you guys out and now let's go straight back into the video now I will tell you guys a lot of these mods they don't work there's very few of them that will work so we just gotta find the one that is gonna work now as you guys can see there is a little date so 29 days ago 23 days ago three years ago the nearer the mod most likely better it works now we can go for unlock everything this is a really simple mod and j and if you want to make sure the mod works you should look at the two month old date and you should also look for nml now one click install doesn't work so you'll just have to manually download so you'll just click on manually download and then click on download again once you do that it's gonna be in your zip file you just click on that double click on it and you just all you gotta do is extract all once you extract it, you can pretty much drag and drop this file into the other folders, which is what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So you can just close out of this folder and pretty much go back to Worldbox, Settings, Properties, Installed Files, and then you will go to Browse. Then you'll just go into your mod folder. Now, the other time, 
you put the Neo mod loader, you went it through data, streaming assets, and then mods. This mod folder is gonna pop up for you guys after you install Neo mod loader, and then you will just drag and pretty much you can drag and drop this right over here. Unlock all, and then you can pretty much just close out all of these tabs. You don't need these. Click on play world box. Make sure your world box is closed the whole time. If it isn't, it's probably gonna be a hard time for you to load these mods in. Now as you guys can see, my game is kind of lagging and you can look at the screen. That is due to because of the mods and how heavy they are, but it doesn't really affect the gameplay like that. Now boom, as you guys can see, there is a mod loader and then you can also see the unlock all mod is now loaded in. To turn it on and off, you just click on it. If you want it off, you can just click on it. It won't load. Once you click on it, it will say it will load. Now what that does is it pretty much loads in all of these creatures. So you don't have to go through the experimental mode or anything else like that. So I love this mod. You pretty much get everything. So let's just drop down this human. And we click on its traits and stuff like that. Everything is unlocked. I didn't have to go sacrifice 1000 elves or I didn't have to go through experimental mode or turn on for better knowledge and stuff like that so it is pretty nice I like this mod there's also another mod obviously the modern box mod which is also really nice I love that mod the it kind of brings world box this really cool futuristic look which a lot of people are looking for. So just for people who didn't understand it, I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna quickly do this one and show you guys how easy it pretty much is. So you just go to Google, you go to World Box Hub. Now this website is safe for people who are wondering. This is also in the official World Box Discord server. So once again, you will just look for a mod that you like. I'm gonna do this mod right over here. Now this one is a risky mod because if this one is one year older and it is but it is an ML so this is a good sign. So we'll just do a manual download and download again. And boom, it's just gonna be in our file. So you double click it and extract all. Extract. It is gonna take a little bit depending on the mod. If the mod is heavy, then it will take it won't take as long, but if the mod is heavy, it is gonna slightly take a little long. As just like this one, this one is probably a little heavy mod, but it's fine. Once you do that, you can just close out of this tab. Go to Steam. Once you open Steam, you just go to the gear box right next to world box properties install file browse and then the mods folder you guys already know how to download nml so i'm not really gonna go over that again that one is a pretty simple one and you gotta make sure that you extract the file if you don't then it's really not gonna work and boom you'll just drop that one in all right as you guys can see i've just loaded into world box and we'll just go to our mod folder and as you guys can see the mod is loaded in but it has failed it is most likely because the mod is older but as you guys can see we did we were able to get the mod to the mod folder which is what matters so all of these ones that we can close but yeah guys that's how you do it if you guys have any questions make sure you guys ask me in the comments below if i did miss out on anything also let me know in the comments the links to my discord twitch tiktok and everything is also going to be in my bio so if you guys want to check it out I would really appreciate it. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys do subscribe, leave a like. Let's try to get 200 likes in this video.